Hi guys, please excuse my washing machine in the background, but I thought I'd do a little video to show you how I'm going to cook my gammon joint today. I'm going to have a go of doing it in the slow cooker, and the first thing I need to do is cut some potatoes and line the bottom so it doesn't sit. So I'm just going to cut those now. Alright, I've cut the potatoes, I've cut them quite thinly, I think, and I've left the skins on as well, I've just got out the... The potatoes that aren't that great because i think it is just literally to keep it raised off the bottom so that it doesn't stick maybe i'm not sure but i'm now just going to unwrap the gammon right i've taken it out of the bag and i've also cut the netting off i'm not sure if you're actually meant to do that so this is the first time i've done it um so now i'm just going to stand it on top of the potatoes okay the gammon joint is in there it's quite a large gammon joint so it only just fits in and then it says on google to tip the water down the side about 250 mil so i think it's sort of like more steams um the gammon joint but oh my washing machine is so loud sorry right okay so that is in and i'm just going to put it on low for around five six hours and yeah hopefully it turns out nice so i will let you know right it looks like it has cooked perfectly so i'm just going to let it cool down and then i'm going to carve it and see what it turns out like okay i'm back again with the gammon that's been cooked and carved and i'm going to do the taste test and then take that a little bit there oh wow it's lovely oh yeah that's really nice i'll definitely do a gammon in the slow cooker again that's beautiful and it's carved so nicely as well so yeah definite thumbs up from me all right guys take care Bye bye